Hi guys and welcome back to another video. It's a full day of eating. I haven't long been up. I've just had Wesley out for a wee who's now jumping at us on the set. Oh no, no, he's licking his little dodger. Um, so, hence the no makeup face. Uh, I've just actually splashed my face with cold water. That's one of my favourite things to do on a morning. So if you've watched my previous What Eat In A Day videos, um, I have a lot of liquid uh, first thing just to rehydrate so I'll talk you through that and then because this is a working from home day I uh, do my journaling um, sit and meditate I do my journaling every morning to be fair but I uh, meditate first thing whereas when I'm at the gym because I'm pushed for time first thing in the morning I'll meditate a bit later in the morning so yeah I'm going to do all of that first and then I'll have uh, get ready and have my pre-workout snack as we say hi So I've got my apple cider and turmeric um, shot, so I've got a little bit of water in there. This is the a company called Willy's, so when you order the apple cider vinegar and turmeric, um, it comes with this shot glass, which is handy. Uh, not a shot that I would be having a few years ago when I was young and <laughs> and liked to go out loads. Um, and then... I uh, also have a shot of aloe vera. I think my brain's not working. Like, I've been up, like, not too long, but I just feel like my brain's not working today. Um, So I have this pure aloe vera juice. I sometimes mix it with coconut water, but I don't have any left. So this comes with the shot glass. I actually just got some as that, but I'm pretty sure you can get it from, um, like, Amazon and the like. So this is, like, pure aloe vera, like, no other additives or anything inside and then I've got my electrolytes to rehydrate then I'll sit and have my green shake before I get ready and um, so this is PhD greens powder in mango flavor and um, I have a little bit of coconut milk in there as well and some matcha Um, I really actually like this it tastes really nice and it might look a bit minging to some people but I think it's really good. So I've just sat down gonna do my journaling and meditating as I said um, and I've got my green shake to sit and have whilst I just relax here. So the days that I'm not at work in the gym I like to just chill a little bit like let my mornings go a bit easier because when I have like face-to-face -face PTs uh, three mornings a week uh, I'm rushing around, I'm literally up, like quickly get ready, like have my drinks and stuff to rehydrate and then I'd be having this green shake when I was at work. Um, so I like to just take the time um, on the days that I'm not at the gym to just take a breath. And I used to be so like on the go, like still get up like at the same time and stuff but I really found that it caught up with us at the end of last year. Like I do very, very long days, especially the days I'm at the gym. Um, and I'm busy like with my online clients in between all of that and like on a day like today so I have a bit more time today I don't have to be anywhere for a set time so um, I do this just chill out a little bit <laughs> so I'm not rushing so I get ready at a sort of leisurely pace as well and then I have my pre-workout snack and my coffee and then I go and do my workout for a day um, so as you can probably see from the title, I'm eating in a calorie deficit at the minute. Um, my calories are currently around 2000. Um, some days I cycle them a little bit lower, so I've got a bit more for a weekend, but I, I'm very, as I say, very busy through the week and that's when I do like the, my workouts. So I need like enough energy for those, um, and find that I'm hungrier because I'm so active. Um, one thing that I want to mention as well, these so the green shake and the drinks that I had this morning, I don't actually count those as calories because they're literally like 30 calories in total. I have them every day. Um, so I just don't count them in. Like a lot of people don't track like certain veggies and stuff, um, which I'm not against at all. Um, some I don't like spinach and like some like leafy greens like cucumber I don't track things like that because they're literally like five calories and 
they're not going to make a difference at all. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to note because uh, the reason that I have these drinks is for health benefits. They're really good for your gut health and your gut and your brain um, are linked. So what you're putting into your body really does affect you up here. There's studies to prove this and I'm very, it's a subject that I like to educate people on. Um, I do suffer a lot with bloating, um, as most of us do. And I find that these drinks uh, like apple cider vinegar um, really helps before I eat um, you know there's a lot of myths going around about having apple cider vinegar and how it'll help you lose weight and that's not why I have it I feel like I have to really like that's not why I have it and um, it's just really good for your gut health like nothing will help you lose weight if you're not in a calorie deficit uh, so obviously these are my current deficit calories um, uh, also should be noted not to copy these these might not be your deficit calories like everyone's like how are you eating so high in a deficit now it's a very small deficit and um, so you're like 200 calories of a deficit um and i am very active as i say like i do i average at around fifteen thousand steps uh, a day and uh, honestly like just on the gym floor like i've hit my ten thousand steps before nine ten o'clock in the morning as <laughs> I've been there since six like you know helping clients like running around making sure people have got kit that they need like you know all this different stuff and um, then I do my own training um and that's before I've even walked Wesley and went back for like the nighttime shift that I do at the gym um so yeah like I'm very very active and then even on a day like the day I'm gonna go to the gym um, I've got some steady state cardio after my workout so I've got legs and then my steady state cardio and then I'll go and take Wesley for a nice big walk so we'll get some fresh air, some vitamin D um, and he loves it and it looks like a nice day to day actually so yeah just wanted to explain through those things hopefully they make sense but as always if you have any questions on any of my videos I always say just pop the questions below I'm more than happy to answer them to help clarify anything I just really know that there's a big thing about apple cider vinegar like helping you lose weight and like a, no certain drink food nothing will help you lose weight if you're not in a calorie deficit and again everybody's deficit is specific to them their activity levels um, and all that sort of stuff so yeah the green shake as well is just I like to just make sure that I've got something good in us at the start of the day it's something that I've done for years now um, I've used different brands the green shake I'm currently using page date as I say um, I'll pop the link below and my discount code in the bio because I do work with uh, page date and I'm affiliated with them they're a brand that I've used for a long time um, so yeah just a good way to start the day. Love matcha as well. Um, I do like my coffee, but matcha is also an, like a bit gentler on you. Gentler, is that a word? Uh, kinder on your tummy, basically, than coffee. And you get all the, the caffeine benefits as well as other health benefits from that. I actually genuinely really like the taste of matcha. I remember when I very first had it years ago, and I was like, that is disgusting. But then I'd like make myself have it. Like, honestly, there's a lot of the things that I have. I just used to make myself eat and now I love them <laughs> like even green tea like I think everyone thinks that I just drink it because it's healthy and I'm healthy and I go to the gym and like yes it is very good for you uh, in terms of like your health benefits but I genuinely like the taste of green tea like everyone thinks I'm mad but it's one of those things because I've just like always had it um I really crave it and especially like if I've had like a heavy weekend or I've been on holiday and I've ate like a lot of rubbish food like heavy processed food my body starts to crave like green tea and vegetables like <laughs> I think that's the one thing when you start your fitness journey and you eat like really like nutritious meals and then you kind of have like a you go on, like I say go on holiday or whatever and you you can't eat your normal food your body really starts to crave it again because you know how it feels to feel that good and for your body to be functioning that optimally so yes I'm gonna finish my little waffle here um as I say, I'm going to meditate, um, journal, get ready, um, and then I'll show you what I'm going to have for my pre-workout snack. So I'm already pre-workout. I've got two rice cakes and uh, with some honey on, and then a black coffee. I actually normally have um, Rice Krispie squares. I became a bit obsessed with them, and I really like the marshmallow flavour. 
um, and then they just have they just never seem to have it in. It's obviously the most popular one. Like I don't mind the cookies and cream, but uh, and they're also quite high in calories, so it's using. Oh, I'm saying quite high in calories for what it is. They're like over 100 calories, probably about I think about 120. Um, when I'm obviously reducing my calories down, I'd rather try and save some um throughout the day also if you follow us on instagram um you'll have seen that at the minute i'm using up stuff in my cupboards and i have an abundance of rice cakes that just weren't getting used and obviously because it's so long life i was like right i need to start using these up so i thought rice uh cakes which is pretty much the same as rice krispies um with honey will be something um that i can have instead and that only comes to about Two rice cakes, like 60 calories, uh, and then a bit of honey. You know, we're talking like 70, 80 calories, not very much at all. Um, and also, I have some Rice Krispies in the cupboard to use up. So what I think I'm going to do is potentially, maybe this weekend, I'm going to make my own Rice Krispie square bars. I don't know if they'll taste as nice. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go. Um, and then it's using stuff up that I've got in, because I think the Rice Krispie squares bars that... Um, I've got a recipe for I'll use up everything that I've got in I won't need to buy anything at all um, and they'll be also have some protein in so yeah I'm, so I'm thinking I'm gonna give them a go Um, I'm very much I mean I hate wasting food anyway I've always been like that but I'm very much at the minute uh, with everything going up here in the UK like price wise and food shop and stuff like that um, trying to keep price down and use up as much as I can so in the cupboards in the freezers so the meals that I'll be making today I'll show you um, what I'm using up so a lot of long light food as I say like frozen stuff um, also just keeps costs down so what I do at the start of the or the end of the week um, before I go food shopping I'll make a list of what I'm going to have um the following week um with what i've got in and um, so i'll create some i've got i made a list of meals ages ago i like took everything out the cupboards everything out the freezer like made a list of what i had and then put together some meal concoctions so anything that i need it's mostly like fresh veg to be fair um just to add in to these recipes um and they've actually tasted really good like it's made us get so much more creative and um i found some meals that i actually really like that i'll continue to have um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with spending money on food by the way I'm very much a person that loves to spend money on food but um, like I say I just don't want like because you know there's getting to a point where there's stuff, there was stuff in the cupboards that I had that bars that were about to go out of date and I was like they've been sitting there for ages and I'm just like buying more food like it's not necessary and because I live by myself as well like it, you know I don't have to cook for anybody else I'm just cooking for me so um, I thought it was a good time just to get it used up. I'll be moving in house in a couple of months as well. So I want to get as much used up as I can. Um, so that it's like less to move with us. Um, and as I say, just less waste in general. So yeah, that's kind of a bit of a background. If you uh, haven't seen on Instagram, we don't follow us on there. If you don't, the link's below. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the meals that I'm making today are very much like that. There's been a lot of vegetarian friendly ones because I've been using a lot of like lentils um, and cheese um, as opposed to buying meat. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, scram this um, and then go get my work. I've done, I have my clear weight um, for my workout as well. Just like a bit of flavour during my workout. I also have um, intra workout carbs in my drink as well for that extra bit of energy, especially for legs. So I'm gonna go get that done and then I'll show you what I'm having afterwards for my breakfast. So back from the gym, it was a sweaty one. Had a quick cold shower, which felt amazing. And for breakfast, I've got, these are tickled pink um, hot cross buns, uh, hence why the pink. Uh, they're really nice, they're like blondie, uh, white chocolate blondie and cranberry i believe very nice Um, i've got some peanut butter on there if you can see it with banana a little sprinkle of chia seeds and then i'm actually obsessed with banana and matcha at the minute so banana protein from phd uh the links below and my discount code mrg10 if you shop on phd and um, save you some money um, and then just some matcha powder i just get my matcha from amazon um, and then I've got my vitamins and uh, my creatine there as well. Again, most of those are from PhD. And I cannot wait to devour this. I don't know what it is today. Like, I woke up, like, with a bit of a headache, felt a bit groggy, but I feel so much better after that workout. Like, I felt like it wasn't shifting. I've been drinking lots of water this morning um, before I resorted to taking 
paracetamol. I like to try and let my body respond. <laughs> um, best it can before I take any painkillers. Um, and my headache's actually totally gone now after that workout. Um, so yeah, credit to that, even though it felt really hard. Um, it was just like a bit of a tension headache sitting here and I could tell. So I had like nearly a litre of water before I left the house, especially because I was having my coffee. Um, and then I had like a litre of water during my um, workout there. So I feel really good. I want to make sure I drink lots of water a day um, as well to keep on top of that. But yeah, it was a tough session. Uh, this is like the last week of my current training block. Um, so this is week six. Um, I'm really actually pleased with the strength that I've felt despite obviously being in a deficit. But this is why it's so important in a deficit not to just slash your calories because if you go too low, you're just going to have no energy. You're going to probably lose some muscle mass, which is the last thing that you want. And especially when I've been like building my glutes, like I know they're going to get smaller because they always do. <laughs> um, but I want to try and retain them as much as I possibly can um, throughout this cut. So that's why my calories, again, like are higher up as I say, very, very busy, very active. I need to still make sure that I've got enough energy to do that without feeling, you know, totally horrendous. Like I'm saying, I feel a bit ropey this morning and I know it's because my calories are lower than what I'm used to and it's just my body adapting and adjusting. Um, and I think I'm just being a bit dramatic. <laughs> but again, like your hormones come into play and I'm going into the second half of my cycle now. So that will be starting to affect how I'm feeling. So diet breaks coming up, uh, which I can do a video on as well, if that would be helpful. Um, and just talk through that and reasons why I do a diet break. But yeah, um, I've planned this diet break in line with my next period. Um, I think it'll definitely be necessary. So I'm going to go and enjoy this now because my stomach has been grumbling like so loud. Like I don't even feel like I'm that hungry, but my belly's like, <laughs> so yes, I will be back when I have my next meal. So I uh, did some check-ins, did some work for some online clients, went for a lovely walk with Wesley and just come back and made this lentil bolognese, which I'm so excited to eat. So, so good. I've got rooibos tea, that's how you pronounce it, uh, and some water as well to go with it. So as I said, I've been um, making some cheap meals and those lentil bolognese, um, like bolognese is, I don't know if that's a word, we'll go with it. Um, it's just in a pack from Tesco, uh, it's Tesco's own brand, really nice. So I have like half pack today, then I'll have the same meal tomorrow. So I tend to have like the same couple of meals, I'll have like the same thing for two or three days max, um, unless I make something big in the slow cooker. But even then, I'd probably rather freeze it and have it at a later date because I was finding that it was getting the day like four or five and I was bored of the food. So I just make double the amount um since it's just me and then i have it the next day so the lentil bolognese packs are really nice um i used up a protein spaghetti that i had some left of but i've had this with normal pasta before it's really nice um I added in some grated carrot spinach cucumber and tomatoes and then some cheese on the top and i also actually added a little bit of tomato puree and some bone broth just to increase the protein intake on it and um, i have a beef bone broth and a chicken bone broth um, it's just like a powder and um, it's really good for cooking stuff in kind of just like a, a stock cube um, but it's really um, cost effective because it lasts you know a fair amount of time and um, obviously it's got a long shelf life and then it's really good for your protein intake without a lot of calories like bone broth is actually really really good for your health as well so um, overall this is a really cheap meal in like just in general anyway, you know, pasta's long life, lentils are long life, um, and there's a high amount of fibre in this, um, lots of vitamins and minerals, lots of stuff that's good for you, um, it's really good um, in protein, obviously I've added in cheese there as well, just for some extra protein, um, and then it's got lots of veggies in, oh god, some of the sink just fell, <laughs> got a fright there, um, obviously got lots of veggies in, which is really good. And a lot of these are quite low calorie vegetables as well. So yes, uh, this is meal, I suppose it's meal three of the day really, isn't it? If you count my pre workout out. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and eat this now because I'm absolutely starving. And then I'm just gonna tidy up my wardrobe a little bit because I've still got like winter jumpers in there and I'm hoping that this is the end of the winter. I can hope even though it snowed last week. But my big chunky uh, knits, Pardon me, sorry, I'm going to get rid of and um, take them down to my mum's house so I've got a bit more space in my wardrobes 
um, and it's kind of like the start of moving things out of this flat so that I'm not like doing it all at once. So I've just finished uh, sorting and tidying my wardrobe. Um, it wasn't like a proper sort out, it was just getting rid of like thick, thick woolly jumpers. Um, and I'm gonna have a little snack, then I'm gonna lie on my spike mat, which is like the acupuncture mat. Um, it's really good for recovery. I'm feeling a bit sore this week, actually. I don't know if it's because I'm really pushing this week since I <laughs> put my teeth back in. Since it's the last week of this training block, as I said. So I'm going to make this really good little snack. You can make this snack. Oh, it's like a dessert, really. Um, I fancy something sweet, though. Fits in with my calories, macros, so ideal. Uh, you can make this as many calories as you want. I've made it bigger before to have it as like a bigger dessert for like 250 calories, but I'm gonna make it for under 100 a day. So I've tracked it into my fitness pal as a 98 calories. We've got a jelly pot. This is just as this all make the Hartley's one, and they're like seven calories. So sometimes I'll put two of them in. Have as many as you like, they're very low in calories. So seven calories, <laughs> then I've got the Alpro custard yogurt. Now I just use normal custard sometimes, um, but these are just all what I have in my mum actually bought these, so ideal because they're a bit pricey, but very good if you are plant-based and they've got a bit of protein in as well. Um, and then just some squirty cream. Um, like I say, I've put in the quantities to um, suit the calories that I want, but I've made this a lot bigger before, so I'm gonna quickly make it and show you before I eat it. And this is the finished product. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing one I've ever made. Emma um, made it in a gin glass before. Um, the recipe's on my Instagram, which is linked below. Um, I did it as a reel a couple of weeks back to show how to make this. Uh, really simple, really easy, and tastes just like a trifle, which is perfect. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy this now. Okay, so I finished off some work bits tonight, uh, lay on my spike mat, had a nice shower, took my makeup bath, scraped my hair back and put some fresh PJs on, uh, ready for an early morning. Tomorrow I'm back in the gym, so I'm up at 5am for my 6am clients. Um, do you know what? I actually do really like getting up early, I just think it's like the rushing around that I don't like. Um, but anyways, I've just made myself some oats. I've made baked oats and burnt them ever so slightly. So they don't look very aesthetically pleasing, but I've made carrot cake. So um, I've made oats mixed with vanilla protein. Um, I've put some grated carrot in there. Um, I had some carrots to use up actually, so that worked out very well. So when I grated carrot, carrot, carrot <laughs> earlier on today, um, I grated some extra ready for tonight. Um, I put some cinnamon and ginger in there, um, some bacon powder, and then I've put raisins and walnuts on the top and the raisins have burnt to a bit of a crisp, which is a shame. So I think next time I'll mix them like right in, because normally the walnuts on the top go really nice and crispy in the oven, like I've done them in baked oats before, but the raisins I probably should have done, like just actually mix them in. Um, and what else did I put in? I think that was it actually. Yes, but um, I mean, sometimes with baked oats, you can use an egg, you can put milk in. I just mix everything in with water. Um, to be honest, I mean, I say it to keep calories down, but I feel like I've just always done that. I'm not really too fussed on milk, to be honest. Like, I don't mind it every now and again. Um, and the only milk that I really have in is coconut milk, and I don't think it would have been a vibe with this. Um, so, yeah, you can use milk, you can add in egg. Um, if you like to really increase the protein intake. Uh, I mean, I use, did I also mention that I use oats? Yes, I did, because I said I had baked oats. I was thinking I've missed out a key ingredient there. Um, you can probably use any protein powder, really, but I feel like vanilla is so versatile. It just goes with anything. Um, you can amend any quantities of anything that I've used today to suit your calories and macros. It really does, like, can't stress enough. I feel like I can't get my words out here. I can't stress enough basically not to just copy off what I'm eating, not to copy off my calories. I don't share these videos or the posts on Instagram to say you have to eat this to look like this or whatever. Um, I don't expect anybody to want to even look like me for a starter and everybody's totally different. You know, you could eat the same calories, the same food as me and we would look completely different anyway. I only share food as inspiration. Like I personally love looking at what people are eating. I find it really interesting. I love food. Um, and just for some inspiration, just to share recipes, meal ideas. Um, as I say at the minute, I'm sharing things that are 
sort of more inexpensive to save money on food shops and um, things like that it's more just for inspiration it's not to copy it to think that you've got to eat this way and just show as well that you don't have to restrict any foods you can eat lots of different foods and getting that good balance is what makes it more sustainable long term um, rather than you know slashing your calories right down cutting out certain food groups and doing lots of silly things that you're not going to be able to do long term and um, it's more to educate and just to help as much as I possibly can so I always hope that it doesn't come off in another way and saying that you must eat this and you must have this to look like x y and z and these calories that I'm eating today might not necessarily be your deficit calories it could be your maintenance it could be your surplus so it's always best to either check with a calorie calculator or get yourself a coach um my coaching links below if uh, <laughs> if you need any help with that um but seriously like even if it's not me um if you get a coach to help you with this um if you really feel like you need more knowledge on it um i definitely think having a coach or a personal trainer is a worthwhile investment you should be learning things that you can then go off and use or life and um, so without further ado I will show you my slightly burnt carrot cake baked oats and then I'm gonna go and enjoy them okay so it's just the raisins that have been so not very appealing uh, to look at I'm hoping it's gonna taste all right and then next time I know I'm gonna mix the raisins in but you see like the walnuts have gone pretty crispy and I feel like it's gone a, like a good golden brown color but never mind we'll live and we'll learn and that concludes today's full day of eating. If you are still watching, thank you so much for listening to me waffle on. <laughs> if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please let us know below. Um, I'm planning on doing a diet break version of this, if that would be of interest to anyone. Um, any other videos that you would like to see, please also let me know. Please like this video, it really supports us, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It is very, very much appreciated. Uh, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one.